I know you're a boss, sis, I really do, but you need to know how to transition from being a boss at work to being a feminine, delicate flower when you're dating. It's hard, I know, but you're gonna have to do it. <laughs> It's Kels here today and I'm back with another video. Okay, today I want to talk about transitioning from boss mode at work, like what you run in the show, to when you're out with potentially another boss and you need to tone it down a little bit and be a little bit more feminine and a little bit more delicate. Now, this is something that is kind of hard for women that are used to running the show. What got you where you are in terms of your career and what made you successful and appealing at work is not the same thing that's going to make you successful and appealing in your relationships. Now, I'm speaking to you guys like I'm the expert, but please believe me when I tell you I am not the expert on this. This is something that I am continually working on and I wanted to share it with you guys so that maybe it could help some of you guys as well. So going back and forth between work mode and relationship mode. When you're out on a date, perhaps don't talk so much about career things. Don't speak in a way that's more like an interview because I know we kind of end up defaulting into that as career-minded or working women. It's kind of like whenever you're in a conversation with a man, eight, nine, ten hours of your day, you're at work. So the way you're speaking about things, the way you're direct, the way you're leaning in, the way you're taking your seat at the table, the way that you're asking for what you want, the way that you're negotiating, all of that is very masculine energy and it makes you successful at work for the most part. But when you're out on a date, you kind of have to rein that in, be more soft, be more delicate, listen a little bit more. Maybe don't tell every single thing that you're working on or that you're doing or that you've done. Leave a little mystery and leave a little allure and a little softness to the conversation. And I find that that helps a little bit in terms of turning down the balls kind of personality. This is hard, you know, because it is playing a role and that's something that as women I don't think people make very clear is that how many roles or how many hats you actually do have to put on especially when you are if you're a mother you have that hat if you're a working woman you have that hat if you're a delicate flower dating you have that hat so there are a lot of roles that you have to play and just is something that you got to get used to so maybe scroll through YouTube maybe look at a couple videos on how you tap into more of that femininity and that softness and bring that to your dates, bring that to your relationships as opposed to being the kind of direct boss that you're used to being at work and that has made you successful at work. So hope that brings a little bit of clarity. I'm still working on this so don't feel like I'm trying to preach or anything like that. I'm just sharing what I've been working on in hopes that it helps you guys as well. I do these videos so you know you're not out here alone in this sometimes crazy dating world. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. And if you're a returning viewer, thanks so much for returning. Hit the subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I upload. Because YouTube, you do be tripping sometimes and not letting your subbies know when you upload. So hit the bell. And yeah, I will see you guys again in my next one. Bye, peeps.